Hi everyone, Scott with the Scott Man, and we are here in Muskegon, Michigan. We're just pretty close to Lake Michigan. We're here on the, the western side of the state, and it's a trying to be a pretty nice day today. So we're gonna check out some some cool different things that you can do here in Muskegon. Whether it's right here in downtown or even some parks in the area, especially as you get out to Lake Michigan. So let's go. Muskegon was named after the Ottawa word Muskegon, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, or marshy river or swamp. Back in its day, Muskegon Lake and the Muskegon River, which empties into the lake, were highly traveled for the lumber industry. Also, Raggedy Ann dolls were even made here in Muskegon from 1918 to 1926 by the Nonbreakable Toy Company. Today, it is a great place for people to come and visit with its great museums, parks, and Lake Michigan shoreline. One great place to start is the Union Depot. Back in 1895, it opened to serve many railroads connecting Chicago, Grand Rapids, Indiana, and Toledo. It served the railroads until it closed in 1971. Although it's, it's not a railroad depot anymore, it is now being used as, as, as a uh, visitor's bureau. So it's always great to see historic buildings like this one be repurposed into something very useful for tourists. Muskegon has, has its own share of, of great museums to check out. Along Clay Street, there are many great sites such as the Lakeshore Museum Center and the Skolnick House of the Depression Era. Named after Herman and Ida Skolnick, this house tells a story about life during the Depression. Next door is the Fire Barn Museum, a memorial to the men and women who served as firefighters in Muskegon County. Outside is a 500 pound bell which was donated to the museum in 2005. It was originally purchased in 1891 by the city for Hose Company No. 4. Along Western Avenue is the Mus Muskegon Heritage Museum. For $5 you can learn more about the economic, industrial, and social history of the Mus Muskegon area. It was established in 1983 to make home for the cordless valve 90 HP steam engine. Don't forget to also check out the Muskegon Museum of Art and head near Lake Michigan to explore the USS Silverside Submarine Museum. In order to get more into the great history about Muskegon, definitely have to check out the Hackley Hume Historic Site. The collection of three houses. Uh, we've got the Hackley house on the left and the Hume house on the right and then the barn over in the center or, over there. Charles Hackley and Thomas Hume were, were uh, business partners back in the late 19th century and and during their partnership that they had these two homes built uh, built for them. Matter of fact, uh, Charles Hackley uh, first came over here in, into Muskegon around 1857. Charles Hackley earned a lot of wealth from the lumber industry and later ran the Chamber of Commerce. Along with Hackley, Thomas Hume helped transform Muskegon from being a lumber giant to a manufacturing center. Both homes were built by Grand Rapids architect David S. Hopkins. There are some other cool things to see which aren't museums. Visit the Monet Garden, a volunteer project which is home to many beautiful plants and flowers. You can also go see a performance at the Frontal Center, built in a Moorish style in 1929 by Paul Schlossmann, which opened a year later. From May to November, from 8 to 2 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, don't forget to check out the Muskegon Farmer's Market. Although not shown in the video, Michigan's largest amusement park, Michigan's Adventure, is located about 9 mi miles north of the city on the way to Whitehall. There are many ways which you can arrive in Muskegon. One cool way is to take the Lake Express high-speed ferry between Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Muskegon. It takes about two and a half hours to go across Lake Michigan. The ferry terminal is not too far of a drive west of downtown. If you are looking for a place to stay in Muskegon, consider staying at the Emory House, a bed and breakfast built in 1903 by John Emory Jr. It is located at the northwest corner of Webster and Fifth. 
Muskegon also has its great share of restaurants and also breweries. In front of us, that's Pigeon Hill Brewing Company. On a nice summer day like this, uh, you head over there and, and have some very delicious beer and enjoy the great sights. One place I enjoyed was the Station Grill located on West Broadway Avenue outside of downtown. You have to drive to go there, but the food is absolutely delicious. Be sure to check out my Travel Delights video on the restaurant. And when walking around Muskegon, you definitely have to check out Hackley Park located right here in the middle of downtown. Hackley Park also has some cool statues including some of former U.S. presidents. Fisherman's Landing is another park with picnic areas, a boat ramp for Muskegon Lake access, and even a campground. One popular park here in Muskegon is the Heritage Landing. Originally an industrial scrapyard, it was transformed into a beautiful park along Muskegon Lake with wide open spaces, places to fish, and even a venue great for events, festivals, and weddings. And last but not least, we made out to Lake Michigan and take a look at the great views of both lighthouses. We got the pierhead light over here, and then the breakwater light all the way over there. We'll take a look at both of them. The Muskegon South Pierhead Lighthouse was built in 1903. During summer weekends from 1 to 5 p.m., take a tour of the tower for only $4 and get some amazing views of the area, including the channel, the beach, and Lake Michigan. Don't forget to check out the Muskegon South Breakwater Lighthouse as it goes much further out into the lake and you can see for miles. It is accessible from the beach at Pier Marquette Park. The beach is also a great spot with sand volleyball, a restaurant, picnic areas, and swimming in very cold water. On the other side of the channel is Muskegon State Park. The state park has campgrounds, hiking trails, and even a luge run at the sports lodge. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's great adventure here in Muskegon, Michigan, because I definitely have today. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give this video a like or a thumbs up. For more Scam 95 travel videos, definitely click that subscribe button. Well, thank you for watching today's video here in Muskegon, Michigan, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out.